Over the last eight months, we've been very busy cleaning up our waterways here in Bali. Bagaimana? Sampahnya hebat, banyak sekali. So we've been busy and hard at work. Right now, most rivers on Bali are completely trashed. You know, they have never been cleaned. Everywhere along their riverbanks, you see a trace of plastic pollution. What we started here, even eight months ago, I would have never thought would have been possible. Eight months ago, I was still sorting in my parents' garage, and my parents definitely didn't like that. So how Sungai Watch really started, um, you know, was by community cleanups. Every single Friday, we'd get anywhere between 20 to 60 people to 250 people per cleanup, which has been super overwhelming and inspiring to see community getting involved with this mission of protecting Bali's waterways. But for us, cleaning rivers is an everyday mission. Over the last year, we've been testing eight different types of barriers, from floating devices to small cages, nets and booms. Right now, we almost have 50 barriers around the island. Our goal this year is to get 100 barriers here on Bali. Right now, we are in our location in Braban, Yepuyungdua with our patrol. This is just from one night's rain of trash. And I just got the, the birthday present. Ah, pampers, diapers. This is very gross. Every day, yeah? Yeah. Pasti ada pampers di setiap titik. Yeah. Every single day, our patrol teams get out on the river from 7 a.m and go to each of our barriers. Right then and then, they will take a photo before, take a photo after, and then separate between organic and plastic waste. All of that gets sent to our facility. And right now, we're bringing two tons of trash every day where we sort it by types of plastics, it goes through an initial pre-sorting phase. At Sungai Watch, we really felt that there was a gap in data. When you look at plastic pollution, just the scale of it, it's so hard to really understand how big of a problem it is. And in Indonesia, one of the things that we're lacking tremendously behind is data. At Sungai Watch, we're collecting this data from the rivers of Bali. By placing our barriers, we're able to calculate each day, per river, the total amount of types of plastics. But another key metric is the brands. And doing brand auditing allows us to have a conversation with the bigger companies. The corporates that are somehow responsible for this plastics, using it in their packaging and in their products. This is just like a, you know, a, a normal mini-mart scanner or just a shop scanner. And we have all of our sachets and so this shows up and it basically tells you uh, what product it is directly just from a scan. Uh, so we're able to go a lot quicker um, on our mission to track what these are. Um, you know, this just told me that it's a tango. We even sh see the, the price that uh, it comes out to. So, you know, this little piece of sachet uh, is actually worth 3,500 rupiah. Um, and used once and thrown away. But some of our milestones in the last eight months have been to work with the government. Um, in December, we made a 40-day mission to clean 10 rivers in the region of Badung in South Bali. We employed 250 people, 25 people per team. Throughout that cleanup, we picked up 57 tons of trash. But one of our recent cleanup, you know, submitted by somebody via a video, Pantai di pantai. Sekarang kita ada di Sungai Loluan, Rimblen. Sampah banyak. Sekarang udah kelihatan sampah sedikit. Sungai Wat. Like and subscribe. Donasi kita bisa. Hey, my
morning to you. I think it was a Thursday, somebody sent a video, um, and on that very Monday, we organized, you know, 60 people from our team as well as two excavators to clean the entire canal of Dreamland, a 200 meter long canal, 3,000 cubic meters, entirely clogged with tree branches and plastics, which we managed to clean in the span of four days. So this cleanup started with a video, and the truth is that if we had never received this video, we would have never known the emergency of the state of this very river. In four days, we've been able to clean a 200 meter stretch of river with heavy machinery and a super, super dedicated crew. And this just shows us that we can still have massive impacts on areas that are polluted. So today, we're launching our Sungai hotline, which means that everybody anywhere around Indonesia can send us a photo or a video of a polluted river with a pin, and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. In recent years, the Island of Gods has really truly become the Island of Trash. On January 1st, you know, the first day of the rainy season here on Bali, where the beaches were completely trashed, we saw some direct winds blowing east. There's been studies done by Udayana University here on Bali, but also some international institutes that show that trash on Kuta Beach could be coming from other parts of Indonesia, namely East Java. Our goal this year is going to be to protect every single river on the west coast of Bali to, you know, to really address north, west Bali, so the, the regions of Tabanan, of Jimbrana, but also in East Java. So looking at Banyuwangi and Munchar. Hopefully, you know, these barriers can be a showcase, a symbol to show that plastic pollution should never end up in our ocean and that we need to work on land with real solutions like better waste management, you know, way more education. This is not going to happen overnight. Although the mission is really just beginning, I think that there's still so much work to be done to truly protect these waterways. Um, and it should start you know, with all of us. And it needs to start on a local level. It needs to be grassroots. It needs to be adopted by the local villages of Bali. So right now we're actually here in our barrier in Tungma Bayou. Um, you know, this is a barrier that's been individually sponsored. So you can actually sponsor one element um, for about 3 million rupiah, which equates to around 215 US dollars and that covers the cost of construction for one of the barriers, but cost of maintenance and cleanup for an entire year, as well as sorting at our base. Um, and so with that, you know, we're hoping um, for anybody to get involved, um, you know, whether you're a company, um, whether you're a school, you can do a fundraiser. So we're super excited to, to be updating you um, with this project and to have you follow along. Um, so please stay tuned with us at Sungai Watch as we continue to protect these very beautiful waterways.